squad. Bruh. Bruh. What up? Hey! Today is everybody's favorite time of the month or week or day or whatever. We got another SoundCloud rap list. Most of you have subscribed to me because of emo rap, but today we're feeling happy. Recently, I've just been listening to music that I want to dance to, party to, listen in a car, and just not be depressed. So I put together 20 songs that are from a year old, a few weeks old, a couple days old, somewhere in the middle, from artists that are completely unknown that you're gonna find out about today, or artists that are already established and you guys all know and love. It's truly all over the place, but that's what makes it so great. My name is Patrick CC, and this is 20 underrated SoundCloud rap songs of right now, I guess. I always start my videos like this, but I'd just like to say that the point of these videos are to promote the songs and the SoundCloud rappers and their brands, so I encourage you all to check out them. Also, for all of you that want to send me your music, uh, send it either on Instagram or Twitter, whichever one you prefer. It's the same handle. And yeah, I'll get back to you. But follow me first. Don't just send it. Like, At number 20, we have Grown Up by Young Star Ball Out featuring Lil Polearm. Probably one of my favorite flows from Young Star Ball Out. Next is Fully Automatic Stick by Thousand Band Fawny. Last time I thought I did too much, this time I crossed the line. Hey, the dad just put me in a coffin, bury me alive. Hey, I put that puss up in a sarcophagus, then make it a shrine. I could wait on you to get right, but I'd just be wasting time. I feel like Thousand Band Fawny is kind of a SoundCloud rap legend. I don't know what made me come across his page because I haven't really listened to him in a long time, but this song, it's just like a classic head nodder. At number 18, we have Subies by Cold Heart. That song is pretty old, but I feel like out of all of Cold Heart's songs, that's like one of my favorites and nobody even ever talks about it. It's like one of the last songs on that project, but totally, totally slept on song. So if you love Cold Heart, I recommend you fall in love with that song just like I did. At number 17, we have Off My Back by Aaron Cole. I'm just waiting for the Drake comparisons on that song. <laughs> it does kind of sound like a Drake song, but Aaron Cole, haven't done too much listening, but if it sounds anything like that song, then he sounds like he could be sort of like a Drake. I'm kidding, good song. At number 16, we have Holy Trinity by Jules. They joking on my swag, yeah, they some mini me's. Bitches chronic in the back, be the Holy Trinity. They hating, I don't care if they ain't feeling me. They hate and they don't think I'ma ever succeed. They jockin' on my swaggin'. At number 15, we have NASCAR by Roddy Rich. Lately I've been speeding in the NASCAR. Sippin' a dirty fender, I might crash off. Dody Hunt is made a shoddy, white the racks off. Brought the 2020 out there why he mad. Roddy Rich is absolutely blowing up right now. He's probably not even an artist that I would cover because he's about to be mainstream. But I love his music. It is so good. I feel like I like every song. He's pretty much like if Lil Baby and Gunna were not overhyped and actually good, that would be Roddy Rich. At number 14, we have Anti Grab by Oliver Francis. Can't go wrong with Oliver Francis, and that is the best kick drum I've ever heard in a rap song in my life. At number 13, we have On My Way by D1V. At number 12, we have Water by The Land Is Rising. Yeah. 
when I came across this page, I was pretty confused. I can't really tell if this is one artist or multiple artists. It sounds like one because the Instagram profile is different than the SoundCloud page. I'm not gonna say all the songs are good, but you can tell that this kid has an amazing voice. Because the mixing and mastering and all around song structure is just not there yet. Maybe he or they have limited access to studio equipment, whatever it is. But I really love finding hidden gems like this. I mean, 40 something followers. Could be interesting to watch and see how this goes, but either way, that song, pretty good. At number 11, we have GPS by Wintertime. I don't fuck with social media, seven prescription, no CVS. I'm on the map like a GPS, boy, you know it's getting like me. Watch how I skate on the beat, Larry leave on the beat. I should have went to the league. At number 10, we have Demons in My Cup by Triple Six. And I'm fucking sipping dirty in my cup. Bitch, give me neck, yeah, what's up? I got demons, I got demons in my cup. I got demons, I got demons in my cup. At number nine, we have Where All of My Friends by Savage Gasp. So you can mimic me with that fuck shit. Keep laying on my back. I don't need no strap. I didn't need Rx. I don't need no depth. Gasp is so lit. <laughs> At number eight, we have Christian Dior by Kevin Kazi. I'm walking around, even Marcus with a gas mask. If I fly highway, then I want to take the fast track. New Dior Christian for my baby, you can hide her. See, like she know, but the Versace, I got high. This song was on a new project that Kevin Kazi dropped. I wasn't super crazy about the project, but I felt like this song is pretty good. I love the instrumental. The acoustic guitar riff is pretty refreshing to hear. It doesn't really sound like, I guess, the standard or what most emo rappers or whatever would use. And I just love when Kevin Kazi rips that flow when he's, you know, actually rapping. It's kind of nice. I think people generally sleep on Kevin Kazi. At number seven, we have Geek Sum by Six Dogs. In the Tesla, yeah, bitch, I'm on one. Check my email, everybody wants one. Tripping on shrooms, get my IQ up. We just celebrate, yeah, we might get some. I love Six Dogs, that's an old song, but I feel like you're sleeping on it. At number six, we have Team by Xavier Weeks. That bitch wanna follow my team. She out the morning low, baby, she a fiend. This shit really ain't what it seems. Big what, big dog, what you need? I got love all across the map now. What the body do, baby, I'm trying to map now. I haven't looked too much into Xavier Weeks, but that song is pretty lit. It's got like a nice little dance vibe to it, a little West Coast sound, kind of like a little young pinch and kind of 909 Memphis. Pretty interesting, pretty unique, totally underrated. Again, the kid's got like a hundred something followers. I'll be watching closely to see how the future pans out for him. At number five, we have Glisten by Trevor Spitta. Fuck that cheddar, baby it's I ain't a quitter, yeah. That beat is so awesome and the flow that he has on that is like super unique. Something that I don't feel like I've really heard. Obviously he didn't invent the fucking flow, but it was really refreshing to hear something like that. Trevor Spitta, you guys should check him out. At number four, we have Full Tank by Marcelo. I love how immediately when that song comes in just makes you want to dance right away. It kind of has like this Caribbean bounce to it. Super original um, and I feel like generally kind of underappreciated. Marcelo is more known as a producer but He's clearly showed that he's got some rapping and songwriting capabilities that maybe we were not paying attention to. At number three, we have Wet by Steel Eleven. Steel Eleven, all you need to do is keep working on those mixes and you will develop a sound that I feel like sounds super unique and really separates you from everybody else on SoundCloud. He just writes tracks that are pretty lit. It's the way it is. At number two, we have Colors by Wheeland. So 
So from what I understand, this song has kind of an interesting story. <laughs> he like posted on Instagram <laughs> a picture of him with like heavy duty firearms, like military grade, just like a selfie of them, which is like the funniest fucking selfie ever. <laughs> the cops went to his house because of it. I didn't really look into the news story before this, but just judging from what the sample was in the beginning, is pretty fucking ridiculous and hilarious. Wieland is, is a character for sure. I'm interested to see how good his music is in the future. Without further ado, the number one spot, we have Mo Bamba. <laughs> no, but seriously, the number one spot, we have Sicko Mode by Tr <laughs> I had to do it. The number one spot, we have Overdose by Lil Raven. Too much rats on me. I don't even know what to buy no more. They know I'm the truth. I don't even know how to lie no more. I don't drink new no more. I threw away the styrofoam. I don't trust none of these hoes. I cut them off a few nights ago. Lil Raven totally slept on. I, even myself, have been generally sleeping on Lil Raven, but when I heard this song, there isn't really anything that I can comment about it. It's not like lyrically it's really anything different, or the beat isn't like a monumentally different beat. It just has this vibe and this bounce that doesn't ever really get old, and it's just something that you want to play at a party and that immediately everyone will be able to vibe to it. It's kind of hard to explain, but sometimes that's just the only explanation. If you enjoyed my list and this is something that you may want to listen to, I made a playlist of all the songs, so check out the link below. It's on my SoundCloud. On my Best of 2018 video, we were able to get these guys tons of plays, so let's make the goal 3,000 plays on each song. Also, if Spotify is your listening preference, I have a ton of different Spotify playlists that you guys can check out. I'll also link them below. And of course, Smash the like button on the video if you liked it. If this is your first time here and you like anything related to underground hip hop, whether it's emo rap or traditional hip hop, if that's what you want to call it, my channel is probably something that you'd consider subscribing to because 2019 is going to be a big year. Have a good night or day or whenever you're watching this. I'm out.